Let's put foreclosure news into perspective. I'm Bob Gosselin from Gosselin Realty. This is your weekly West Orange County Real Estate Report for the week ending October 13th. Big headlines last week. Florida leads nation in foreclosures. Run for cover. The sky is falling. Uh, not really. Yes, foreclosure filings are down 13% nationwide and up more than that in the Sunshine State. But consider this. Florida is one of the states where foreclosures must go through the court system. The courts are finally starting to get the paperwork done. Second, HOAs are allowed to foreclose over non-payment of dues, which they are doing in record numbers. Third, hedge funds are buying big chunks of foreclosed properties, so the banks have redoubled their efforts to foreclose. And fourth, the banks have not been stellar with their refinancing efforts, and seriously upside-down homeowners have simply given up trying to get a new mortgage. So you've got several reasons that foreclosures are up. The good news, we've been talking for months now about low inventory. Local realtors we do business with are saying, bring on the foreclosures. We've got buyers. Taking a look at what sold last week in West Orange County, foreclosures or otherwise, we pull these numbers from the Mid-Florida Regional MLS and include the communities of Ocoee, Winter Garden, Oakland, Gotha, and Windermere. 26 single-family homes sold last week. Top price paid was $1.2 million for a four-bed, four-bath, 5,400-square-foot home in the reserve at Lake Butler. 15 homes sold for under $250,000. And since we're talking about it, only four of those sales were foreclosures. 37 new listings hit the market. Ten are foreclosures. Like I said, release the foreclosures and let us sell them. Appraisals continue to hurt real estate deals, so says the National Association of Realtors. Out-of-town appraisers who don't know the area, slow turnaround times by both bankers and appraisers, and quickly rising prices not being accounted for, just some of the reasons given for appraisals that don't come in and kill deals. However, consider this item from HomeGain. A recent survey says sellers are overestimating the value of their homes by as much as 20%. That run-up in prices in some neighborhoods seems to be a big reason, because it's not happening in all neighborhoods. Bottom line, if you're a seller, make sure your realtor is using up-to-date data to price. If you're a buyer, use the same data to make a solid offer, and you won't have to worry about the appraisal. How important was the outdoor space when you bought your house? The American Institute of Architects says 64% of their members are being asked to create great outdoor spaces for homeowners. So it would appear that sellers should be concerned about their yard. However, further research suggests we're all becoming hermits and we don't use our yards that much anyway. So what's a seller to do? Believe me, I've seen bad yards repel buyers to the point that they won't even stop and bother to go in the house. Go with perception over reality. Get your yard in great shape and sell your house. That's your weekly West Orange County Real Estate Report. I'm Bob Gosselin from Gosselin Realty. Do something good for America this week. Buy some real estate. We'll see you next time.